Now there's been some talk about government hiring a, a Planet X or something, and they're using chemtrails, which to the unknown public are just the smoke coming out of the planes that we deem as normal because we've seen them our whole lives. But could you please tell us what chemtrails are and their significance and their dangers to the community? Well, when you look at chemtrails, you can look at that as a form of biological and chemical warfare combined because they, they release biological agents that they create in laboratories through the atmosphere, through the back of the results of planes. Chemtrails and regular uh, exhaust from a plane are two different things. When a regular plane leaves the exhaust, they're only supposed to last from anywhere from 30 to 15 seconds and they're supposed to dissipate. Chemtrails stay up there all day, sometimes several days, and they release poison in the atmosphere, which causes all types of diseases mental and physical. What the government is doing is that they're spraying certain types of solutions and chemicals to blind the people to give the impression when they look up in space on the atmosphere or the inner space, which leads out to outer space, they're giving them the impression that they're all alone. Basically blocking out any type of activity but at the same time, a lot of people feel like that's far-fetched because they say, well, I can see planes, I can still see the moon. Yes, you still can see that, but anything they don't also want you to see, it blocks it out. And the main thing they're doing, they're blocking out the sun rays because they understand that the sun rays is what's setting off the DNA in African, so-called African Americans. And so, therefore, they're trying to block out the light because they want to make the planet, the planet cooler, not hotter, because the solar system, as well as the galaxy, is warming up. And what's the importance of the solar system warming up? Because you're entering into a new cycle. You're entering into the, uh, the sun cycle. So therefore, the sun cycle is a revolutionary cycle. We just came out of ice age. We came out of the evolutionary cycle. So therefore, scientists, their scientists are beginning to understand that at the polar caps, North and South Pole, they're still packed with ice, tons and tons of ice. And they just realized that that's not supposed to be there. But when we were in school, we thought that was normal. But since the Earth has just came out of a cooling period and now it's starting to heat up, it is melting. So in New York and coastal cities, they're trying to come up with ways to stop the, uh, the ice from melting. Or if it does melt, they're trying to come up with ways to divert the water so it won't drown out cities like New York, New Jersey, Philadelphia, and places like that. But at this point to date, I don't know what they can do because they said that it wouldn't melt to like 2150. Then they said 2050. Now, some scientists who want to speak out but can't speak out because of the Espionage Act, you got a lot of scientists that want to tell the public, but they can't. So therefore, they, they, they're under gag orders because certain scientists, they either discredit or kill. If they don't kill them, if they don't discredit them, then they just silence them. So you have a lot of scientists who want to tell you, but there's nothing they, they can do at this point in time. So, um, but this is all part of the calamity that must befall this, this nation as well as this Western world. Are you aware of Planet X? Oh, definitely. Um, the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad was one of the first ones among us to speak of this Planet X. Matter of fact, he referred to it as the Mother Planet. Um, the master teacher also referred to it. He gave us the correct name, which was Nibiru, which means planet across the sky. Planet X, as it's called by the Europeans, is an artificial planet that was created by the ancestors of the so-called African American. These, uh, this planet X has been used to destroy worlds, create worlds, is a planetoid. As a matter of fact, it's spoken of in Revelation as the New Jerusalem, the city of peace that must come down. And you said it's the ancestors of the so-called African Americans. Mm -hmm. What are they going to do or what should we do in order to be in touch with them? 
um, I don't, I don't follow what you said, being touched with them, as far as, talking about as, far as for them to come to be like our salvation, our, the, to save our race, humanity. Oh, but the first thing that so-called African American must do, they must acknowledge it. How can you ask somebody to come save you, you don't believe they exist? And the way that they're going to come, you have to understand the way they come. They're not coming in spooks. They're not coming playing banjo, singer, um, singing sweet, heavy uh, Negro spiritual coming on the cloud. It's not happening like that. They're coming like in Independence Day. That's why the white man made movies like that. He's telling you. Well, if you believe it or not, that's up to you. But the most honorable Elijah Muhammad told us about the battle in the sky. They know about it because during the Reagan administration, they was preparing for Star Wars. Now, they told you during that time it was for the Soviet Union. But since there's no longer the Soviet Union, that threat is gone. You definitely don't need it for the Muslim. So what is the Star Wars capability for? You're talking about a Star Wars. The Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad talked about the battle in the sky. When you look at Revelation, you look at Ezekiel, you look at the Bible, it talks about the final battle being the, the war of Armageddon culminating. African Americans must align themselves with the harmonial balance of the universe, which is mean living according to my eye. Balance, universal law. If you do that, you'll be fine. If not, and you keep messing with these toxic religions, you're going to go down with the West. Do you know when they will come or have they come already and we were just unprepared or unaware? Well, it's like this. We're living in a time of the rapture. And uh, I remember as late as 2009, over Cleveland, Ohio, on the north side, over the lake, Lake Erie, there was sighted a UFO. And the funny thing is, the news didn't discredit it. They didn't say it was a weather balloon, they didn't say it was the military, they kept saying they, it was UFO. They never discredited it. And I believe, personally, that those were shams coming to ga gather some of the 144,000. Now, as for when they're coming, according to the Mayan prophecy, which actually comes out of Kemetic culture, I believe they will be here by the 21st or the 22nd of December 2012, personally. Now, a lot of people don't hold that position, but you know, I'm not 100% sure, neither are they. But I know one thing, it's gonna be sooner than later.